So lately, all over the internet, AKA threads, people have been talking a lot about post-production workflow and how to get faster when it comes to editing. It's slowing them down. They're not able to produce and get content out faster. And now they're just hating the overall editing experience. And so in this video, I wanna share with you all three tools that has helped increase my productivity as well as enhance my post-production editing workflow. So let's get into it. The first and most important tool that I wanna talk about in this video is going to be the Logitech MX console. So recently Logitech just announced their MX console that they have actually teamed up with Adobe to give you two months complimentary of Adobe Suite with the MX console. So definitely check that out. So if you're an Adobe Suite person, this is going to be for you. This is such a clutch product and I've been using it to enhance my post-production workflow. Now the cool thing about the MX Creative Keypad is you get nine illuminated buttons that you can customize to whatever programs that you use on a regular basis. And so for me, I've customized it for my Adobe Photoshop, my Frame.io, the Logi app itself, uh, Finder window, the internet, of course, Adobe Premiere. You can add Zoom on there. You can customize and add whatever programs that you use on a regular basis, as well as whatever folders or a software that you use on your computer on a regular basis. So not only does it enhance and increase and add shortcuts for your programs that you use for editing, but it does it as well for just your everyday busy work. Now the best way to use the keypad when editing to increase your workflow is once you add the program or once you add Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop um, to the keypad to open up the program, it instantly turns into the shortcuts that you need to use within the program. So of course, once you click the button to open up Adobe Premiere, it's going to then have all the shortcuts that you add and you've customized, like your razor tool, your save, it's gonna have your rolling edit, whatever shortcuts that you need that you weren't able to put on your keyboard, you now have a place to put even more shortcuts for your Adobe Premiere onto the keypad. And again, at the end of the day, it's all about getting to the things you need to get to faster, AKA using shortcuts. That is going to be the best way to grow and speed up your post-production workflow shortcuts. And so the more places that you can have shortcuts, the better. Now, when it comes to the dial pad, which is the other half of the MX console, there's four customizable buttons that you can add when it comes to the dial pad. And now there's a couple things that I really, really like about the dial pad that has really been kind of like adding to my overall experience. And that is the dial itself. It's such a smooth roll, especially in Adobe Premiere. I'm able to scrub through my timeline just a lot smoother and more accurate, I feel like and I don't have to use my mouse as much, and I've customized the other buttons on the dial pad as well. Now, the one thing I really wanna talk about when it comes to the dial pad is going to be the actions ring. Now, this changed the game for me because the action ring allowed me to customize in Premiere and add even more shortcuts for specific cases. So for instance, for me, I decided to add shortcuts for the action rings when it comes to my Lumetri basics. So I've been able to add shortcuts for being able to access my coloring. I color all my content and that is another thing that kind of adds to my workflow. And so being able to have a faster editing workflow, but also a, fast in color, a faster coloring workflow really, really kind of helped me. And so I added my blacks, my whites, my tint, my temperature. I added those to my shortcuts with my action rings to allow me to dial in even more. Get it, dial pad, dial in. You see what I did there. And the cool thing about that as well is you can actually travel with it. These are very small that you can take with you. So not only do you need to have it at home, but you're taking like this whole ecosystem with you wherever you go to allow for increased productivity wherever you are in the world. And so I just think it's super dope and it's definitely going to be in like my tech bag with me as I travel because I travel for work a lot and I'm always having to edit on the go, whether I'm at the airport, whether I'm in a different city and I still wanna be able to edit faster, I can take these products with me and it doesn't change my workflow and my experience. Now, the second tool I wanna to talk about is having a good keyboard, having a keyboard that really works for you. And I know that sounds weird because a keyboard is a keyboard, but there is a reason why there's multiple keyboards. The same reason why you have a specific favorite bread that you like, but there's mo multiple brands of bread. That's the same when it comes to a keyboard. There's multiple keyboards. And for me, I used to have the MX Mechanical Mini keyboard, but the reason why I switched to the MX Keys S keyboard from Logitech is because it gave me the dial pad. Now, I might be old or I might be weird, but the reason why I think that this is better is because there's a way that I learned how to type 
And again, I was a transcriptionist for three years. But the way, you know, you position your hands on your keyboard and, you know, where your fingers go on the letters, it's so much easier for me to just do a flick of the wrist to my number keypad outside of me having to move my whole arm to both both arms to hit the numbers at the top. And it may sound very minute and it may sound very small, but I think when those small things add up, um, it changes your overall experience. And so for me, that actually really helped me because it allowed me to just, you know, type a lot faster, get to what I need to faster. At, you know, I'm adding more shortcuts as well because I have a whole nother side where I can add shortcuts to. So it also just enhanced and increased my productivity overall. Not even just with Adobe Premiere, but just as I type, as I need to search for things, you know, as I'm using chat GPT, whatever that may be, um, having that key, that dial pad, as well as just a keyboard that is just more comfortable for me, uh, really, really matters. And so making sure that you find a keyboard that is comfortable and not just one that looks good, but overall it's like really comfortable for you and it just works for you is so important. That's why I don't know if you've ever been on Instagram and you see certain content creators or games gamers have specific keyboards because they actually it actually matters a whole deal and so definitely like seeing what keyboard works for you uh what is going to be comfortable when you sit and you have to be at this keyboard all all the time when you're editing again it's about experience and so what tools are going to allow for a better experience and keyboard included and so that is the second tool that really enhanced and increased my productivity and my post-production workflow overall now the third tool is going to actually be in adobe premiere and it's going to work hand in hand with the MX console. Now, a lot of people who use Adobe Premiere don't understand workspaces or they have never actually utilized workspaces. And I would advise every single person to learn and utilize workspaces to your advantage. And the reason why is because each workspace has a different interface based on what you're editing and how you're editing. So for instance, if you go to workspaces in Adobe Premiere, you can see that you have a, a lot of different workspaces. You have a coloring workspace, you have multi-cam, you have vertical, you can customize your own. That's why you see it says Britney's workspace. And the reason why is because each workspace brings different panels to the forefront based on what you need. If you're doing a color workspace then you're gonna really want all the lumetri uh, panels because that's what you need to color if you're doing a multi-cam workspace you might need different monitors or both your source and your program monitor because you're going to be cutting between cameras and you're going to need the multi-cam view if you're doing a vertical workspace then you might want to be able to see the vertical or the the dimensions in a vertical look instead of a horizontal one and it's a bigger screen it's a bigger panel to really allow you to see the detail of your footage and the reason why all that matters is because you don't want to be editing and then realizing i need this panel to be in a forefront because i'm going to be using this i've been able to add a shortcut to my dial pad so when i click that shortcut it instantly switches from a vertical workspace to a horizontal workspace and so when i do my instagram content or my youtube shorts i'm able to go to a vertical workspace and when I do my longer YouTube format or my client work, I'm able to go to my horizontal workspace with the click of a button on my dial pad. And so again, it's all about just having shortcuts that is going to allow you to do the things that you need to do a lot faster. And you literally have a full ecosystem that is going to allow you to do that using a creative keypad, using your keyboard, using your mouse, using your dial pad. Logi Options, which is the app that they use to be able to control all of this, it comes with so much to increase your productivity and enhance your post-production workflow because they provide shortcuts for you for every single thing. But at the end of the day, my biggest takeaway from all of this is that in order to really grow and get faster when it comes to creating content, is practice makes perfect. You have to go in, you have to do this every day. You have to create uh, an inviting space that you wanna be at because it is tedious, it can get time consuming. And so being able to have products that is going to speed that up for you, create shortcuts for you to get to it faster, and it's going to just allow you to have a better experience. Those are the tools that you need in order to have a really good production workflow and as well as increase your, pro increase your productivity. And so there's no other way to do that. So. When I say workflow, to me, workflow is more important than the creative. It's because you're most times 80% or 90% going to be editing or sitting at your desk unless you can afford hiring an editor and doing all those things. And until then, 
these are some really good tools to look into. So let me know your thoughts. If you have anything like this, if you're interested in it, if you have questions about it, leave them down in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Definitely give it a like, a thumbs up, share this with your friends. Also, I just want to say it got it got me feeling like a tech a techie again. I'm in I'm in my tech girl phase again with this. Like I really love how it looks on my desk. I really love I love new tech and so I just feel like I'm getting in my tech bag so y'all gonna be seeing a lot of tech stuff and this is just like it's it's overall all encompassing for me so thank y'all so much for watching make sure you share this with your friends and make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel I love you all and I will see you in the next video